Ooh, frosty as always. Let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and today we are looking at another Fox knife. Now before we get into that, I just wanna let you guys know that this was brought to you guys by bladeops.com. Guys, go visit bladeops.com and let them know that Brandon or Everyday Minimalist had sent you and they will definitely hook you up on your next knife purchase. I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check out all of their options. If you guys do use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a kickback. And if you're new here and you enjoy EDC, slash knife content, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Here is the Fox Knives Radius. So this is the box that it comes in. Of course, I've already taken it out and then carried it, and now I'm ready to give you my full impressions, but I just really wanted to showcase this amazing knife's packaging. So when you remove this sleeve here, it's just really blanked out, and then you've got these serialization barcodes there. You're greeted with this. This box is probably the most pleasant experience that I've actually witnessed with any knife that I've ever purchased. So on the front here, you will get some Fox brand with the radius logo there and on the bottom side this is what really surprised me guys you do have a leather strap that is connected to the box that straight off the bat just made me super impressed already so that they would actually use a, a genuine piece of leather on the box itself You'll then get greeted with the Fox Knife certification. Kind of tells you a little bit about the radius. And then when you pull this bad boy open, you're greeted with the knife already deployed. Um, super nice packaging again, guys. I didn't actually realize that you could actually pull off the foam and uh, you do get a leather sheath with the knife. I love it when knife brands include extras with the packaging. It just makes it a lot more friendly and I've always said that. So let's go ahead and talk about the Fox Radius. I have a few positive and then a few negatives. Overall, if you're gonna be dropping, you know, four to $500 on a knife, there's a lot to expect. In that price range, you know, you're looking at Hinderer knives, Strider, you're looking at a lot of custom knife brands. This is gonna have to meet those expectations. Let's just go ahead and talk about the positives first. The titanium finish or the black titanium just looks fantastic on screen and then also in photos. As you guys know, I'm a photographer. If you guys wanna visit my channel and kind of see some more detailed pictures, go to my Instagram profile. I'll link that in the description below. The finish of this knife meets that $500, $400 caliber. Check it out, it has that really nice black titanium with that gold slash bronze brass hardware and a black finish with the blade. Same thing on the back side, um, you've got that black titanium pocket clip and additionally a brass pivot there. So next thing on the list would be the Warncliffe blade included with the radius. It feels really nice, it's robust, it's made of M390 steel. And I do enjoy the fact that they are using a more high caliber steel with a $450, $500 knife. The next positive I've got is going to be the pocket clip. So that is a mill titanium pocket clip. It slipped in the pocket, no problem. The only thing that I had about that is that, you know, you've got that much of the knife just kind of poking out of your pocket. So it looks kind of weird as well that backspacer is kind of protruding. There's no paracord holes or anything like that. I would have enjoyed it if they did make it a deep carry pocket clip. Now, those were some of the positives I have. Let's get on to the negatives. And I'll be honest with you guys, I actually don't really love this knife. I don't think it's worth $400 to $500. It's more of a novelty. So the thing that makes it a novelty is going to be the locking mechanism. So this radius locking mechanism it has like this push button plunge lock there. And what you do is you essentially just just uh, push on the button and then it follows the track there and you can deploy it with just one thumb. Now there's some issues with that. It's only right hand operated. So you can only use your right hand with it. It feels really weird when you first get the knife and kind of open it up with your thumb. And there's a weird weight to it. So essentially when you push it down and try to get this in concealed, there's that weight that kind of falls down. I'm not sure if that's how it was designed with the blade weight or anything like that. 
Pushing it back open, it kind of takes a little bit more force. Guys, I'm huge on locking systems, so I really do enjoy the axis lock. I do love the frame lock and as well as the liner lock. Um, those are my top three favorites. But with this, it's a more novelty type of knife. I couldn't see myself EDCing this knife, to be honest with you, after carrying it for a week. Um, there's better options at lower price ranges, or if you are expected to spend this much money on a knife, you can get something better in this range. Another thing is going to be, again, that carry profile. So uh, not only do you have this like little protruding like tip coming out of your pocket, the entire knife is going to be a little bit thicker within your pocket and it also protrudes. That's something that kind of matters to me. Again, guys, I wear a lot of athletic shorts. So walking around with this guy, it's almost about five ounces. Um, and with everything sticking out, it just takes up a lot of pocket space. And I'm kind of biased because I do enjoy smaller knives, but even then, here is the Chris Reef Sabenza 31 next to the Radius. So this is more so a mid-sized knife. And if you're comparing the actual width between the two, this guy's got a solid 20% in addition to what the Sabenza 31 small is. So the next negative I have would be the ergonomics on this knife. As you can see, uh, I have a large glove size and my pinky is kind of falling off of the handle there. And I don't really enjoy that. There's hot spots right next to the pocket clip within the palm of my hand. It just doesn't feel right. On top of that, again, the radius lock is a lot more bulky. So you can't really choke up without risking the fact that you will cut your hand. So yeah, guys, those are my negatives on the knife. Um, the Fox radius, it looks fantastic in pictures. It's a novelty piece. It's gonna be kind of niche. So, I mean, if you wanted to go ahead and purchase one, go for it. You know, it's, it's a good looking knife, but when it comes to EDC tasks and stuff like that, I don't really recommend it. It's gonna be more so like a collector's knife or someone that wants to have a really intricate, weird operating type of locking mechanism. For $400 to $500, you will find better. I can almost guarantee you that. If you are really looking at getting one, then at least handle it before you actually decide to make a purchase. Besides that, guys, I really appreciate the time that you guys spent with me today. Thank you so much for dropping by, and then I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.